The place where two or more bones are joined together is called a joint. We can bend our body around the joints. Example, knee, elbow, wrist, neck, etc. There are two kinds of joints, fixed and movable joints. Fixed joints, as the name suggests, are fixed and cannot move. The skull is an immovable joint. The movable joints are the joints which can move. Not all movable joints can move in all the directions. Let us now see the various movable joints. Let us see the ball and socket joint. It allows the maximum movement. The round end of one bone fits into hollow part of another bone. Hence the name ball and socket joint. Hip joint and shoulder joint are the examples of the ball and socket joint. The bowler in cricket while bowling swings his hand freely around his shoulder. The hinge joint works like a door on the hinge. It enables movement only in one direction. Knees, elbows, fingers, toes have hinge joints. Let us see pivot joint. One bone has a projection which fits into the ring like ligament of another. It allows for movement in many ways. The head can be moved from side to side, up and down, backward, forward and sideways. The skull moves on the top of first vertebra. Let us see gliding joint. Adjacent bones slide over each other and allow for a limited movement. It allows a back to bend, twist and turn at each joint. Like the vertebrae of the backbone, wrist and ankles. What would happen if your backbone is made up of just one long bone? It would make us stiff as a scarecrow. To sum up various kinds of joints. The joints are of two types, fixed and movable joints. The movable joints are further categorized in four groups. Ball and socket joint, hinge joint, pivot joint and gliding joint. Have you thought how bones are joined together? Is some glue used to join the bones to form the skeleton? Tissues that join one bone to another are called ligaments. Ligaments hold the joints together.